Now we've got a few big bass in here, but they're not lunker bass. So what I recommend is just looking around, you know, around the around the area just to see if you can find a bigger bass before you start reeling in the smaller ones. Because once you hook line and sink a bass, a smaller bass than uh, let's say a lunker bass, your lunker bass may be scared off and uh, never return so it's always nice to look around and see if you can find some bigger bass before you uh, start hooking uh, the smaller bass it's bound to happen once in a while It's always good to go for these smaller ones too as well. Also helps you level up a little bit. This guy here is only about six pounds. It just gives you some experience to when you start heading towards the later levels. Always helps. And as your strength goes up, even when they're fighting, you can still reel in a fair-sized fish by forcing him into the boat. So, oh, he's about seven pounds. He's average. Another spot I like going to on the uh, second lake is down here. Very nice spot. And there we have another lunker fish. Um, doesn't look like a bass though. Oh yes it is. Hard to tell sometimes when you got other things in the way, but I'm gonna use my worm. Change the color maybe. This guy's about 12 pounds, 13 pounds, like the, uh, the first one I caught. Um, this time I don't want to go too far. I just want to dangle it there, let it sink a bit. Right down to the bottom. Move it from side to side. And that's what the worm's good for, letting it sink. And it's not a bass, it's a rainbow trout. Sometimes it's really hard to pick out a trout over a bass. Bass are usually wider, and their dorsal fins are actually bigger. So we'll see what else we can find. 
got another bass here. I don't know if he's hungry. We got another fish here. Move over to the far left and see what we can do here. Um, it's very important to check your wind too. If you got too much wind, usually you'll lose your lure. The wind will snap your line. We'll move to another spot. I'll pick out uh, some key points, key spots in this uh, in this lake. Around here is not bad. It's more open water than anything. This little area is always good. And of course, in here, and uh, we already got a hit on the, on the fish finders, so. We can see we got a whole bunch of bass. They're not lunker bass, mind you, but and it all depends on the time of day. If it's sunny, raining. Usually, when it rains, the bass are deeper. Get out of here. And yes, it's a little tough getting through here sometimes. Sometimes it can be a pain in the butt. 